What's up, people? My name is Jack. Welcome to my channel. We're going to be talking about three AI video editing tools. These are three artificial intelligence tools that save time at the very least with your video editing process. And at the very most, you might actually find a new way in this video to completely revolutionize the way you go about certain effects, even find an awesome way to, to generate massive amounts of client content that you can actually charge for. All of that will make sense in a moment. Without further ado, let's get into three amazing AI video editing tools for 2023. Let's get started with number one. But you're going to want to pay attention to the second and the third one. They're equally as cool. Let's get started. So on the screen is number one. This is video.io. Essentially, it allows you to make short videos out of long form, perfect for podcasts, perfect for long form content creators that want an easy way to generate TikTok, Instagram reels, YouTube content. This tool scans your long form video, shops the video into the specific topics that you talk about, and also adds the captions and kind of designs it like a nice piece of micro content. This is the Make Money Making Videos podcast. I simply uploaded it to video and it segmented it into loads of different topics and added the captions as well. They yeah. also want to work with you even more because like on their side is also like, why would they search for someone else if they are already happy with you? As you can see right there, it might not be the single most interesting piece of the podcast. However, it has taken a topic. It's added the captions, which we can then just change the position of a little bit because it just carried over a bit. And it's added a, a uh, progress tracker bar up at the top, which is pretty standard for online micro content. So tool number one, video.io, takes long form videos, condenses it into short form micro content. You might want to go back and, and, you know, tweak it a little bit, adjust the piece of the clip it's taken. But although it's not perfect, they give you a lot of options. So let's say if even, you know, 20% of these clips were, were actually good and 80% needed to be thrown out, we've still got four or five easy pieces of micro content we could then go throw on social media or even you could sell to your clients. There's absolutely nothing stopping you landing a client on Upwork, taking their video, throwing it in video.io, condensing it into a bunch of short pieces of micro content and handing those videos back to the client at a premium simply for using video.io. Video.io is freemium, which means you get two and a half hours of free processing time and then you have to pay going forward. And real quickly, guys, before we continue with the video, let's have a word from our sponsors. Our sponsors, by the way, are, are me. Video Production Plus is my passion project this year. It's my community for video creators, a private members community. If you guys come over there, the first 100 members are getting 50% off their lifetime membership. Yep, I just want to build an awesome community there, guys. And that starts with focusing on just that, the community. So come on over. 50% off for the first 100 members. We've got video editing packs and templates dropping weekly. We've got freelance content teaching you guys how to make money making videos. We've got courses. We've got an amazing community. We got projects you guys can can practice on. The, the sky's the limit. I want to see you guys over there. Video Production Plus 2023. I'll see you in the group. Tool number two is Runway. This is crazy. Let me break this down. In fact, I might actually start using this for motion tracking. It's that good. As you can see right here, Runway is also freemium. So the kind of pro version is obviously paid. However, you get a completely usable free version. Just you can only have up to three projects and five gigabytes of assets and 720p exports. Runway is an all-encompassing online video editor with advanced tools as advanced as motion tracking. Look around here. The, the UI is super sleek and they have very easy motion tracking. If you see that little red dot right there, We'll redo an example sequence in two seconds, but I simply placed the red dot on my face and I was able to motion track this text. If you've got a computer that's a little bit laggy, might not be the fastest, and After Effects, for example, requires too much power to motion track, Runway might be the solution for your motion tracking going forward. Let's give it a test. So I'm literally just going to drag and drop this same clip again. So we click the clip and one of the magic tools is motion tracking. Simply click on the motion tracking and it loads up this motion window. It then tells us over here to click on a subject to start tracking. So naturally, I went over to my head because I want to track my head and I clicked. And as you can see, it's created a little red tracker dot. Cool. So then we're just going to want to go ahead and press preview and it's going to track the motion as best it can. Once we're done, we can come way up there and press done tracking. Click on done tracking. And just like that, we would have created our track file. We know it's tracked because it turns orange down here. Let's come to the start of our clip, drag our text over, position our text up above my head. Then let's go ahead and select our clip, come down to the tracking section. And as you see, all we have to do is link the layer we want to attach to the motion track. And just like that, when we press play, did you do it is now motion tracked 
directly on the top of my head. I can actually bring it up here and it will again just stay motion tracked wherever I position this on the screen it will indeed stay motion track. Now, of course, I did that very, very quickly, which means if you want a more accurate track, you would grab a more accurate piece in the video. But as you can see, with a very reckless, very kind of quick motion track, I was not gentle with that at all. I really just picked the first thing that I could see, clicked on my face, and it didn't do a bad motion track at all. Runway is going to be perfect for any of my slow computer squad. I used to you know, be pulling my hair out when I couldn't afford the right equipment when I was sort of earlier in my journey because I couldn't really do those top tier effects. Maybe the render would take a day, literally. Like when I was messing around with Cinema 4D and more animation stuff, renders could easily take a day. I was depressed as a little 12 year old, smashing my laptop, hoping it would speed up. Same with After Effects. Motion tracking stuff on my old computer back when I was a kid used to be the biggest hassle in the world because it required too much power. Runway simplifies this process massively. But let's continue with the top three AI video editing tools of 2020. 23 and actually wrap it up. This is tool number three. So number three, this is unscreen. This falls into the category kind of like runway where this is something that actually might revolutionize the way you go about this effect in the future. Let's go ahead and showcase how to remove video backgrounds even if there's no green screen. So I'm coming to my clips and I'm really just going to go ahead and get a random clip. As you'll see in a moment, this will take our clip and it will isolate the subject, for example, me, and it will remove the background. This is a video of me controlling a drone. There was no green screen here, but the AI software has completely removed the background. And this is something that, yes, you could achieve with the rotoscoping tool. Yes, you could achieve more painfully with the masking tool, but how much time would it take to get a clean effect like this? The rotoscoping tool, maybe it takes 20 minutes, maybe it takes 30 minutes, maybe it takes 10 minutes, absolute minimum. The masking tool, that would just be a complete mission. Maybe that takes 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, even if you're skilled with the masking tool, but you know, animating all those frames, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. And we can actually throw other backgrounds in there. So we could, you know, do some some kind of 80s style stuff right there that there's a whole bunch of different backdrops that we can include in here. You know, we could be on a be in an ice skating rink. Obviously, that's that's a little bit comical. We can show throw myself in some trippy mushroom trip situation going down. There's countless backdrops that we can attach here um, that, that are all quite funny. That's it. Those are the top three best AI video editing tools for 2023. Those are, those are the three best that I've found. I'm constantly looking for new ones. Real quickly, guys, if you made it to the end of the video, I'm gonna drop some alpha on you. Nobody else will know about this tool. I'm not gonna link it down below, but this is my gem. This is where I found these AI video editing tools, futurepedia.io. Let's break it down real quick. This thing is updated, I think, every single day. You can go ahead and click on all, and you see all the different categories, 191 text tools, 143 image tools, blah, 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 and you've got 48 active video tools. Most people simply don't watch to the end of the video, so they won't know about this. And I won't even link this tool in the description. But if you made it to the end of the video, comment, the future is bright. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Top three video editing AI tools for 2023. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.